Today, we are counting down the top six TV shows for entrepreneurs and success-driven people. And in at number six is Black Mirror. This is a really unique show where every episode is a completely different story focused around the potential future of technology. Now, that focus is usually on the negative implications, and so, although you won't necessarily want to try and copy the ideas in the show, a lot of the technology isn't that unrealistic, and so I think it's a great way to get your creative mind working and thinking about potential future opportunities. In fact, several concepts in the show which may have seemed crazy have already become true or are being worked on. Just one example of this is in the episode Be Right Back, where, after her husband dies in a car accident, a wife uses his social media your account to bring back a copy of him. And yet, this is kind of already available if you opt in for it. Eater9 is a social media network that essentially learns your personality, and so it can post as you when you're dead. We all know there's huge money in tech for innovative ideas that can solve a problem, and this is an interesting show for getting you to consider the not-too-distant future and the ramifications. In at number five is white gold. Time for something a little lighter. And I'd describe this as a bit of a cross between the Wolf of Wall Street and the Inbetweeners. Especially since it literally features two of the Inbetweeners. Although it's a comedy, it centers around Vincent Swan, played by Ed Westwick, and his quest to make more money as a salesman. Whilst he's a fairly dodgy character, there are absolutely some teachable moments about business, and I always find that seeing people make money, of which there is plenty of that in this show, it's often quite motivating to go out and make money yourself. In at number four is Nathan For You. Quite an obscure Comedy Central show where Nathan Fielder goes into struggling businesses and attempts to help them by giving extremely unconventional advice and recommendations. Whilst, again, it's ultimately a comedy show, some of the crazy out-of-the-box ideas actually have some merit to them. In fact, there's a lot of examples where his ideas actually kinda worked. His Starbucks parody shop, for example, Dumb Starbucks, had crowds of people going and made TV news. He's also still having success with jackets that don't deny the Holocaust. You'll just have to see the episodes for any of this to make real sense, but I recommend you do because it will get your own idea muscle working, and you'll start seeing more unconventional ideas of your own, and that opportunity spotting is vital for any entrepreneur. Now, before we break into the top three, it's time for some honourable mentions of businessy shows that are also worth a watch, but didn't quite make the top six. And those are Mad Men, Billions, Suits, and Breaking Bad. And that last one might sound a bit surprising, but I actually did a whole video on why Walter White can teach us entrepreneurial lessons. But these shows don't have quite the same level of direct business lessons as our top three. And speaking of which, in at third is The Apprentice. Now, the American version of the show is currently on hold as old Donald is a little preoccupied, but in the UK we're still getting regular series of this reality show centred on the world of business, with weekly business challenges that pit two teams against each other. Admittedly, it's often more focused on the entertainment side than the business side, which is why you end up with some very outlandish candidates, but whenever I watch it, it's a reminder that you don't need a whole business structure to make money. Yes, they get a bit more leeway as it's a TV show, but when you see them negotiating in shops, running around frantically on the streets making sales, and those challenges where they buy and sell items all in a single day, well, anyone can do those things. Buy cheap and sell high. People think you need so much for a business, but this shows all you need is a product or service and some customers wanting to buy it. Second place on the list is actually two for one. Dragon's Den or Shark Tank. It's essentially the same show, but Shark Tank is the American version that's a bit more dramatised and arguably a bit more entertaining because of that. But both are great shows for an entrepreneur, as the whole premise is people pitching their business ideas to wealthy investors to try and raise money. There are some really fascinating ideas, but what's also great for an entrepreneur is watching to see what the dragons or the sharks are looking for in the ideas and how they evaluate them. Even if you're not going to be at a stage of pitching any ideas of your own anytime soon, it can be quite an inspirational show with some business lessons thrown in. But now on to number one in this countdown of TV shows for entrepreneurs, and it's Silicon Valley. 
In real life, Silicon Valley and entrepreneurs go hand in hand, and it should be no different with this very unique comedy that captures the insanity of Silicon Valley. If you're at all interested in technology, this really is the show for you. It follows the journey of a startup, Pied Piper, trying to make their business a success in the valley. And so we see their efforts and challenges, and although it is fundamentally a comedy, there are a lot of real life business realities and challenges in the show. So it's a great show for entrepreneurs, and if you haven't already seen it, check it out. If you have, you'll be pleased to hear season six is back very soon. Or if you're watching this video in 2020, the season's already out, go and binge watch. Now that concludes the list of TV shows I'd recommend for entrepreneurs, but I wanna hear your ideas. So leave your favorite entrepreneurial show in the comments below. And if you want even more, then you can check out the list I did of the top movies for entrepreneurs by clicking the video here. Just as a final point though, having said all of this, of course you don't want to watch too much TV. Obviously it can be a great way to relax and if you're watching any of these shows where there's an entrepreneurial or business element to it, well even better. But unless you're taking action on all the ideas and motivation these shows give you, it's no different to watching any other show. So watch these, enjoy them, they're great shows, but then go and achieve your own goals so that one day they're making a TV show about you and how you built your empire. Mm -hmm.